Hello, and welcome back to Wario Land 3. On the last episode, we defeated Scowler in Sea Turtle Rocks, which is honestly kind of strange now I think about it, because he was a squid octopus thingy-majig, but he's in Sea Turtle Rocks, and there's honestly, I don't think there's any turtles in Sea Turtle Rocks, which is a very strange name now that I think about it. Um, whatever, but we defeated Scowler in Sea Turtle Rocks, uh, and then we rode his Calamari Halo, not to heaven, but instead a gray chest, which contained the third music box, whose wonderful cacophony cracked open a hole in the volcano and now we can get to the cave of flames oh boy another volcano-y fiery cave level my favorite um so this isn't despite what i was just saying there this isn't my favorite level um and not because this level's good or bad i honestly don't remember this level too terribly well enough to definitively say it's good or bad um but more so just because the theme of a uh, fiery KD level is way overused, I feel, in Royal Land 3. Like, I can think of three fire K levels off the top of my head, and that might not be it. There may be another one, and I'm just gonna... I wanted to bully that little spearhead just for a second to get it out of my system. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of a thing I'm not a fan of, just because it's repeated so often, not because the level itself is bad. Even though I don't like... I don't like the background for it. Like, the kind of flashing isn't too terribly bad. It's not having fast enough to bother my eyes. Uh, but... And I don't even think it looks bad. Like, that's a fine-looking tile, but it's repeated so often in so many places. Like, it's both the background and, like, the, uh, like, you know, floor and ceiling. Like, it's just strange. What's also strange is this thing, this gap in reality, just the bit of existence uh, that it forgot to just color in. Um, so, yes, there's a strange warp in reality that we cannot get... Well, uh, well, I was about to say that we cannot get by, but we cannot get by holding a spearman. Uh, spearhead, excuse me. I almost... I almost spoiled the plot there, not letting you know that we can't get a spearhead through there. Um, because since it, like, reloads the level, sending it back to its, uh, spawn point, we won't be able to get it through there. And even if you were to just throw it through, uh, it would still despawn the, the spearmen, so the best thing to do is just do a charge throw, uh, and break the blocks on the other side, rather than worrying about getting over there. Um, and all of this, like, roundabout, like, stuff we've done, you know, to get the gray key, was just to get to that, uh, that incline, so we could roll down, grab the key, and be good. Because we've already seen the gray chat. We saw the gray chest, right? I don't remember if I went far enough to see the gray chest, because it's on this path. Um, I think I might have jumped down before we got to the gray chest. My brain ain't completely there today. Who knows? But hey, we're, we're here. We have the key. We have the chest. It's all good. And honestly, I feel like this is a fine beginning to love this, this level. Like, that level wasn't great. It wasn't bad. Like, I feel it was, like, par for the course in terms of, like, Wario Land 3 levels. Um, it's just a shame that the, the level theme of fiery cave is repeated oh so often but hey we get a very very cool treasure from that the staff of purity which just totally looks like a like sailor moon or card captor sakura like staff um what's a shame though is it shows the animation of wario raising it up which you know that's cool but then at that point you would expect oh some animation explaining what's changing in these levels that are now making it viable to go back to them again but the game doesn't like really explain what the hell just changed um Maybe you can visually? No, no, I don't think there's a way to actually visually tell on the map. I was about to say, maybe something changed on the map, but um, nothing is actually visually different on the map, I believe. Um, if it is, it's very slight and it's beyond me. Um, what's also beyond me is, I believe this rock that was uh, uh, blocking off sea turtle rocks confused me, because I was like, I don't remember that thing there. Uh, the reason being is it disappears after you beat the gray chest, uh, which is a nice little touch that, you know, you break through and then, you know, it's gone forever. It's, it's cool. Um... But yes, let's see what the Staff of Purity has done for us today. Why did we even pick up that Staff of Purity, you may wonder? And it's hard to justify having picked up a Staff of Purity, not knowing what the Staff of Purity has done. So let's just continue onwards. Um, so Sea Turtle Rocks, like, I, I complained about it before that, you know, oh, I'm not a big fan of these, like, levels where you have to come through and break through them a bunch of times and blah, 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 blah. Like, we've heard me make that, that argument and complain about it enough, um, so I'm not going to harp on it any longer. Um... In future uh, visits to this level, I'll probably go ahead and break through to where we need to go. Because um, there is a bit of, like, breakthroughable bits that we haven't seen yet. Uh, I just wanted to do this part because this is a completely different path than what we took to get to uh, um, Scowler. I keep wanting to almost say Ikalgo, which is the name of a Hunter x Hunter character. Or Hunter Hunter, I believe is actually how it's pronounced. Um, the X is silent. Um, uh, but I keep wanting to call Scowler Ikalgo. It's weird. Um... But yeah, I'm not a big fan of, you know, breaking all the blocks. It's known. Um, so we'll just continue onwards. Uh, but now we can actually visually see what changed about this level. Uh, maybe it's not 100% obvious because um, 
we didn't come to this part of the level before, uh, but all the water and sea turtle rocks, aside from the uh, part that led us to uh, Scowler, and I almost called him Mikalgo again, uh, was pitch black water. Um, and the Staff of Purity made the pitch black water become normal water. And the uh, <clears throat> hidden property of pitch black water was that it obscures doors from us. And doors in this game are pitch black. Uh, which means you couldn't see them, because, you know, pitch black water, pitch black doors, you know, well, okay, you can't see them. But because you can't see them, you also can't enter them, which is kind of weird and strange. Um, but hey, that's just par for the course in Wario. Par for the co- oh, oh! That par for the course joke was, was, was super, I super planned that. I really, I, I knew that off the top of my head. I'm really fun, I'm really funny and don't just happen in that accidental things. Um, but hey, here's an Applebee, and as we saw, his apple hits you, and you become Fat Wario. Um, but I'm not a big fan of the Applebee's. Um, <laughs> both the enemy and the, the restaurant. The restaurant fucking sucks. Um, but it's just kind of strange, because you become Fat Wario when the apple hits you. And I know, like, you can become fat by, like, you know, eating enough of anything. I'm like, you know, I'm a human being who's been alive. I understand that. But it's just kind of weird. Like, you eat one apple and become Fat Wario. I'm not a big fan of that. And they continue it in Wario Land 4, unfortunately. I'm a bigger fan of, like, the, the cake chefs from Wario Land 2 or the donateers in Wario Land 3. Like, you know, oh, yeah, you eat a cake or a donut and you become become a puffy little tubby boy. It makes sense. And whatever. It's, it's just weird. I hate Applebee's. Um... But yes, we get the right eye of the Golden Serpent. Um, much like the, the Silver Serpent eyes, uh, will open a door in the Tower of Revival. Um, but unlike the Silver Serpent eye, uh, where we got them back to back and then immediately like went and checked out what was crack a uh, Maybe we actually, we might have waited an episode. I, I don't 100% remember. Um, my brain's not all there. It's, it's gone. Um, well, it'll be quite a while before we see the other eye. Um, but what we will see is... The frigid, well, frigid sea. We can frigid sea that the, the water has changed from pitch black to being normal water. Um, and I know I said I wouldn't do that anymore, but this is a new episode, and I, I've earned it since then, okay? I've, I've earned the ability to make that frigid sea stupid comment at least one more time. I promise I won't make it again. Um, I'm not going to make some outlandish, like, bargain to that promise. Like, I'm not going to promise to eat uh, another copy of Banjo-Kazooie, which was the last thing that happened when I made an outlandish promise with an outlandish, like request for failing said promise not doing that again i'm i'm sorry like i know you guys you guys were a fan of me putting a copy of banjo kazooie in my mouth attempting to eat it but i'm not gonna do that one again i'm sorry um but yes there was a door here that was obscured from us and as we learned if you can't see the door you can't go through it and the gray chest is right there and the gray key is just right here but we cannot jump high enough coming out of water to get to it which makes us uh, a key kind of a, just a little, little bit of a just it's gonna bother you a little bit because it's like oh you know it's so close yet so far away and actually can i make that jump now um i'm not sure if i can make the jump up, yeah we can make the jump up here not that there's anything too terribly important up here just a musical coin um not that the music coins aren't important just you know they're not important to us right now and sorry donateer i know i just uh praised you and all for throwing donuts at us instead of apples um, but I don't want you there because he could have uh, hit us with a donut and then made us fat and made us have to wait. Uh, and not a big fan of having to wait at the moment. Don't want to have to wait on our wait, um, as it were. Um, but it, when we hit that switch, something interesting happens. And I, this is a change that doesn't happen very often um, whenever you hit a switch, but it freezes over water. And by very often, I mean, I don't think this happens anywhere else in the game, to my knowledge. Uh, it's kind of strange. Um, and it actually honestly confuses me, like, every time I get back to this point in the game, because it's like, I see the, the switch, and I'm like, why do I need to hit the switch? Like, what will it do for me? But then, oh, you know, it freezes the water so we can come down here and get the key. Um, just because I expect we go to a higher area and we'll just be able to approach the key from a different angle. Uh, the reason why we didn't just, like, go down the pipe to get to it instead of, like, interacting with the switch and stuff is those pipes are one way, um... Like, from this room and the room with the donateer will take you to that other room, but they're closed off, so you couldn't make the return trip even if you wanted to. Um, but hey, whatever. We we finished the level, and we got our Flame of Truth, uh, which is what I've deemed that item. Um, actually, I might have had a similar name on the Mario Wiki. I don't 100% remember. It, like I said, memory, it's not completely there. Who, who, who even knows? Who even knows things? I don't know things, but what I the one thing I do know is blue chest for the big bridge which you guessed it means we're not getting musical coins again so this is the second instance and last instance of 
a level that we were uh, <clears throat> that we will be unable to get the musical coins uh, for at the moment uh, because we are lacking a certain power up and the power up we're lacking for this it's so frustrating when I was planning out this this LP and you'll see why in in an episode uh, we could talk about it now but it'll be relevant next episode so we'll we'll talk about it then because mm, it is very a very frustrating thing um, but hey this isn't a very terribly long level so. We'll, we'll, we'll laugh about it in time, I'm sure. We'll, we'll have, we'll have a good, a hearty laugh about it when we'll probably come back here and just get the blue key again anyways, um, to get the blue chest, because there are some musical coins back here that we'll need anyways. Um, actually, do we need to go down again? I don't 100% remember where we're supposed to go at the moment, um, so let's just do a little bit of exploring, why not? Um, I guess I can break these. I'm not sure if they'd be in our way later or not, but let's do this, because I don't remember what this room looks like off the top of my head, honestly. Um... We will be unable to do anything about this area as it is, though, and luckily the bubbles stopped coming uh, long enough for us to escape. It looks like we do need to go down one more layer, uh, because it would seem there was nothing up there uh, for us. Um, ooh, that was uh, was a crafty fish. Uh, not that the fish uh, itself was crafty, but the fact that I got you know hit by it. Um, crafty p positioning by the designers, because it stunned us just long enough that we could um, you know float to the layer above and then... Get hit by a, well, getting hit by the bubble was a completely separate failure on my part. But, but, jeez, like that was that's some mean fish placement. Uh, I'll tell you what. Um, but I think we had to come to this uh, upper part of the level before we bothered with um, this lower part uh, because those blocks that we broke, I believe, would have stopped us from making progress. Um, like I think they would have been in our way, and we don't have any way to destroy uh, solid blocks with uh, ground pound at the moment. Um, so we would have, like, I believe, yeah, we would have fallen through here, and then there would have been, a, these blocks would have been in our way, uh, halting our progress, stopping us from continuing on in the level, and, uh, is it just these two musical coins in the area? I think there might have been a third one I ignored, uh, and for a second I was like, did I get the blue key? I completely just, it, it had slipped from my mind that we got the blue key, um, but yes, it's very frustrating that we can't get the musical coins, uh, at the moment, um, and we'll see maybe, maybe next episode, by maybe I mean definitely next episode, um, but what we can see now is the truth, because we now have the Lantern of True Sight, a companion item to the Flame of Truth. And um, every, actually every uh, item we got here this episode was a item that like uh, uh, does something, like whether it opens up a level or changes a level. The Eye of the Golden Serpent I don't believe is required at all though. Um, but yes, uh, when you get the Flame of Truth and you... Uh, use it to ignite the lantern of true sight it reveals the castle of illusions which in a nice touch changes the kind of mountainy background into the castle it's a very very nice touch that i honestly don't remember and like noticed just now um but it's kind of strange it makes me wonder how they planned out the level uh names like the e3 e1 stuff because the colossal holds e4 the third level we unlock and then castle of illusions is e3 even though it's the fourth one we unlock i wonder if it has to do with how how the uh placement on the map screen is or what the hubbub is with how they decided to name uh how they decided to name like the you know e1 e2 etc etc see because it seems kind of strange and uh, in a lot of places kind of slips up with like oh i found you know I found E4 before E3, that's weird, and that happens quite a few times in the game, and it's kind of strange. Hey, but whatever, we have access to the Castle of Illusions, quite a mystical and mysterious place that we'll explore in the next episode. And sorry if I sound weird for it there for a second, I punched myself in the nose accidentally, I went to scratch my eye and rubbed up against my nose because apparently I don't have hand-eye coordination, apparently I'm a child, I'm a child in the Castle of Illusions, my worst fears are finally coming true.